All right, welcome to Pluspec, guys. Look, uh, we're going to teach you some cool things over the tutorial set. However, the very first thing to do is to understand what Pluspec does and what's the best way to get started. And the very best way to get started with Pluspec is to start with walls. Now we have a toolbar here, and this is a Pluspec toolbar. And essentially, if I click on my walls here, you'll notice that a little wall toolbar comes up here. Well, it's called a dialog. And inside of this dialog, we have the wall height. Uh, we have the header height, which is the height of the top of the window or the top of the door. So if I went and put 10 windows in, all of them would be at this height, at the very top. And we have the construction method. I recommend, if this is your very first try, don't mess around with these things. Let's just learn the basics first. We'll crawl before we walk. Okay, you'll also notice that I have a mouse on screen there. Before I click submit here, you have, I have a mouse on screen. And you watch as I'm drawing. It'll show you which buttons I'm clicking. Obviously, this mouse won't be on your screen. It's only for you to understand what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to go submit. And I'll explain those buttons. So I'm left-clicking now. Notice the mouse has gone pink with the left button. Okay, I've gone submit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select somewhere in my model to draw from. I can draw from anywhere. However, I'm going to draw walls and I'm going to draw clockwise. The reason being is you can see that I have some text on my wall. It says external and internal. And if I draw clockwise, obviously the external is going to be on the outside. You see that? Okay. And I recommend everyone just keep it really simple to start. Okay. Now I want my wall to line up with here. Okay. And I better see it's going to a triangle. So I want to keep it on the red axes, and I'm going to push shift. I'll explain what axes are in a second. And then I'm going to click on my very first point. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what happens. If I was out here, you'll notice that those purple lines there aren't joining up. However, if I move to this dot here, it has drawn a complete circle. Now these bricks are just a common brick, uh, very white in color. We'll go into these different changing materials and, and a whole heap of cool things with walls in later tutorials. However, what I reckon, ev recommend everyone to do is to understand what an axis means. This is an axis, this is a red axis, this is the green and the blue, obviously, and basically we've got left, right, up, down. It's the easiest way to do it. I'm going to go and draw another wall now. Now, I'm already still inside of my wall tool, so I could actually continue to draw walls. And if I wanted to get outside of this, I could just push escape and it got rid of it altogether. Now I'm back to nothing. And the next thing to do, if you wanted to select something, you can select it. I use a select tool, but also if I push my space bar, you'll notice that I can select. So if I change my tool, if I went to my wall tool here, and I click my space bar, it'll actually get me out of everything. Escape and space bar will get me out of things. You see that? Okay. So now I'm actually in my selector, which is back to select things. So basically, select allows the computer to understand what it is you are trying to select. Okay, let's go back and do some more walls. Wall tool, wall tool. We'll explain the rest of these tools in further tutorials. However, at the moment, let's just get it really simple. Uh, and we're going to try and draw, and I recommend everyone draws 10 squares first, just to get used to joining your walls up. One of the biggest mistakes you can make when you're learning is not to join your walls up. So I've gone shift, zoom in, you'll see that I, I'm in line there. Bang. Okay. So go through and draw yourself 10 walls. You can do it reasonably quickly or 10 rectangles. Shift. The reason why we're drawing rectangles is because it allows us to do other things later. You can just draw three walls if you want to. However, you need to understand more, and when you're a beginner, you don't want to get to this point. You really want to do this. If I make a mistake, I can go Control Z, and it will undo it. It's on my keyboard. Or if I'm drawing walls, and I actually made a mistake, and I forgot to push Shift. Inside of Pluspec, we have a tool. Submit. <clears throat> if I said I went to here, and I wanted this one to line up with here, but I accidentally clicked here. And I really want it to line up with there. If you push delete on your keyboard, it'll go back and allow you to do it again. Okay, I'm going to push shift, zoom in. You need to get used to zooming in and navigating. Okay, I'll explain a little bit more about my mouse here. You'll notice that, that it's going pink. I'm using my scroll wheel to scroll in and out, and your mouse will scroll in and out according to the location where you have 
point of the mouse. If I push my center button, my scroll wheel, down until it clicks, you'll notice it'll come up with this orbit tool, which allows me to look around. And orbiting around, it allows me to go around, and then I can zoom into where I want to look at again, and I'm getting a little bit of control. However, sometimes you actually want to pan, and there's two ways to pan. If you push your center wheel down, and you push shift at the same time, you can now move left to right. And all of this is really crucial to learn and to, to do over and over and over until you get the hang of it. There is one other cheat so that you don't have to click your keyboard. If you push the center button scroll wheel down until it clicks and then you push the left button, it's panning as well. Okay. Guys, check, check that over and over and over again. The next uh, tutorial I'm going to do is going to be roofs and it's going to be really simple and it's all based on a rectangular looped wall. Alright guys, see you soon. Cheers.